This video shows you how to mount the drivetrain to the HLR linear actuator. In a first step, the cover cap must be removed. The drivetrain can be mounted on any of the four sides of the actuator. What comes next, is aligning the pulley slot into a vertical position, by manually moving the carriage out of its end position. Now the clamping ring with the clamping screw must be slid onto the pulley. The clamping screw must be accessible via the front mounting bore of the drive station. The slot of the clamping ring must be aligned with the slot of the pulley. Now the motor with the gearbox must be pre-assembled. To do so please follow the instruction manual. Surfaces must be clean before you start mounting the components. Now the flange must be screwed onto the gearbox. Matching screws are part of the scope of delivery. Make sure screws are tightened with the correct torque. Carefully insert the gearbox into the pulley of the actuator and push it forward into the drive housing. Make sure that the pulley and the clamping ring are not twisted. Apply the flange screws in their positions but do not completely tighten them yet. Now tighten the clamping ring through the front bore of the housing with the correct torque. Flange screws must then be tightened crosswise with the correct torque. For more information and safety notes please refer to the HLR manual.